Hey guys, welcome back to the e-commerce with Golang project series. We were in our buy item from cart function and we are slowly progressing. Two more things are left in this function. One is to add the uh, cart, uh, you know, the items in the cart of the user to in inside the order to make it as an order list as in the items that he has ordered, right? Second thing that's remaining is to empty up his cart because that's when we'll com consider completing the order because when you place an order, the cart needs to be emptied out, okay? So I'll create a variable called filter to. It will be of type bison dot t primitive dot t. And here you'll have key and value of this key id will be id. I'll create another value variable called update. So this is filter to and update to. Sorry. And update to is going to be equal to Bison dot m dollar push so dot m you will take orders dot orders being what you just created you just created uh, orders uh, inside the user collection right you just created that orders now this orders uh, we want to add something called as a list to these orders so we'll say dollar empty array bracket dot order underscore list and to this order list we want to um, say bison dot m dollar each we want to um, add the get cut items which which is this which has the user information and will have the user cart also so we'll say get cart items dot users cart so you have the order that you just created but that order does not have any uh, list of things that you bought so this is what we are adding right now to the user collection so you have done this and now simply what you have to do is uh, I think there's a bracket or something missing somewhere. Um, okay, I think this there has to be another bracket here ending. And uh, then everything is, I think, perfect. Okay, now all you have to do is you just have to uh, use your user collection and say update one class context filter to and take to. So guys, this is uh, right now what we're doing is the hardest part in this entire series. So if you get this, take your time, go over it slowly. That's why I've divided into very small digestible videos, right? Not trying to overwhelm you, but if you can understand it, then uh, you won't face any problem in the rest of the project because we're done with majority of the project anyways, right? So this is like the most difficult part. That's why I've kept these towards the end. Here you'll say if error is not equal to nil, log dot print ln error. Now uh, we have added the orders, right? Based on the order cart. Order cart is that thing that we were creating slowly, the whole uh, object order cart. So that we have added to the user, right? Object. We have added the um, users cart all the data in the users cart to the orders dot order list as well and only thing now remaining is emptying that users cart so that's the third and the last step that's remaining so here we'll say user cart empty is a variable that i'll create to do this for me and i'll say it'll it's of type models dot product user so what is product user product user is uh, out here Product user is this, right? So this is the product user, which is each item in the cart. So that's so it's a slice. Right now it's empty, and uh, I think this is what we can use, right? So we can exactly use this variable to uh, completely like update the cart and make it empty. Okay. So it's not instead of deleting, always do updating like I'm doing right now. 
let's create a variable called filter let's say bson dot d and here let's say primitive dot e id and update it you can instead of saying uh, filtered you can also say filter 3 and update it update 3 or something because you have filter 2 update 2 so here you'll say this one dot d um, the key is going to be dollar set comma the value is this one dot d primitive dot d and now comes the most important part because the key here is actually user cart and value is going to be the user cart empty so just copy and paste it here so now all you have to do is run the update function with all these values like filter and update now i'm sure that you're getting very used to this this format that we use we create these filter and update variables and we just uh, you know call the database function so the same thing we're doing here we're saying user collection dot update one context comma filter three comma update three okay and if error is not equal to nil return error can't by cart item return nil from here So that's it. Now this function is complete. So there's a, there's a lot of things that you did in the buy item from cart, right? So before you emptied up the cart, you also uh, you know added order to the user collection, added cart uh, items in the cart to order. So you did all these things and your function is now complete. Okay, okay. So now the last function is remaining, which is the instant buy. So let's just keep that for the next video. Do subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying this content. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.